7887. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight is part of our 31 Days of Oscar Festival. We're bringing you the five films which competed for the Academy Award for Best Art Direction and Set Decoration in a black and white movie for the year 1965. We just showed the film that won in that category that year, Ship of Fools, with George Siegel as part of that ensemble cast. And it's George who stars in the next nominated film in that category in 1965. The movie is King Rat, a World War II movie that pretty much turns the usual conventions of a POW story upside down. In King Rat, George Siegel plays Corporal King, an American GI imprisoned by the Japanese, but he's no hero. He's an amoral, cynical, totally selfish guy who runs a black market ring in the camp, and he thrives while other POWs suffer. It's all based on a novel by James Clavell, who had spent time as a POW in Singapore, later went on to write the hugely successful novels Shogun and Taipan. English character actor Denholm Elliott, who plays one of the prisoners, was actually, I should point out, also a POW incarcerated in Germany during the war. And the film's director, Brian Forbes, served in British intelligence during World War II. All these talents contributing to a movie that's full of gritty realism, even though it was filmed not on its actual location site, but in Thousand Oaks, California. For George Siegel, this marks one of the first starring roles he ever had in a film, and he makes the most of it. And it led to Mike Nichols' next casting, George, in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which brought George Siegel his first and only Academy Award nomination to date. Flash ahead 49 years, George is now one of the stars of the new ABC TV series, The Goldbergs. So here also featuring Tom Courtney, James Fox, John Mills, and David Frankham, a film that earned an Oscar nomination for art directors Robert Emmett Smith and Frank Tuttle, as well as cinematographer Bernard Guffey. From 1965, here's King Rat. <laughs> 